All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. Sitting over here in the Freedom Office. Last night, I was talking about a build I'm putting together for Memorial 3 gun. We are almost complete with that. And I've got the mock up right behind me. It's going to be pretty nice. Uh, waiting on a couple other little items to come in. I'm not so sold on it. Uh, it it'll see what the. Uh, we'll see how it. Well, we'll see how it operates. In other words, that's exactly the way it's worded, it, how it operates. Yeah, so in any case, picture of it right here. Boom. Hey, listen, uh, last week, or was it earlier Earlier this week, we were talking about the guys over there in Aurora, Colorado. The apartment buildings are now being run uh, by the uh, Venezuelan gangs. And, you know, there's a lot of the uh, people who are sitting there going, well, no, not really. Yeah, yeah, really, they are. And the reason they are is because they're being allowed to do so. And my, my initial thought was, these guys are going to run into the wrong people. And I mean, when I say wrong people, I'm talking about people like you and me who are uh, capable of defending our own. And this is the reason why we have the Second Amendment, guys. Foreign and domestic, right? <laughs> and as far as I'm concerned, the current administration doesn't do shit. And the liberal, uh, what do you call those, sanctuary cities, they don't want to do anything either. And secondly, they're just too damn scared to do anything. Here comes Chicago, right? Chicago's trying to mark it down like, oh, no, no, this is not happening. This is not happening. Bullshit, it's happening. And the wrong people to fuck with, and excuse my French because I know Chicago, uh, matter of fact, I went down to Hyde Park one day, and those guys were so awesome. They offered to hold my wallet, my backpack for me. It was everything, and I just happened to say no. Well, anyway, good folks in Chicago. I worked in the loop there at the uh, Dirksen building, if anybody knows what that is. But there's an article right here from the guys over at the Times of India. And I honestly, i, I got to be honest with you, they're the only ones that are really telling the truth. And they've got a video from this guy, and I want to play it right now for you. Here All we go. Venezuelans in Chicago. This is, this is the warning. If you ain't on no bullshit, stay neutral. Somebody please translate. This ain't Colorado. This ain't, this ain't Utah. This ain't none of them places. This is just like where you from. The only difference is y'all use a lot of handgun, old revolvers and machetes and shit. We got switches. If you're not familiar with what a switch is, we will show you. We will definitely show you what a switch is. So, again, somebody translate. Yeah, make this known. This ain't this ain't like this ain't like Colorado. I'm just saying. Okay, so that gentleman speaks the truth. One thing I know is you don't mess with family. And you don't mess with the gangs of Chicago or the gangs of New York. Who's more powerful? I don't know. But I will tell you this. These jackasses are going to mess with the wrong folk. Let's talk about this. A purported audio of a 9-11 call has been viral claiming that a Venezuelan gang of 32 people took over an apartment complex in Chicago. Hey, listen, the minute you let these guys in the door, it's the same thing as the minute you let these guys across the border. This is what happens. This is the sick part about things. The reported call was made by the residents of the apartment on 6124 South King. Caller says 32 Venezuelans are trespassing in the building and now showing guns. Well, I love the fact that this guy says, we got switches. I don't count on these guys to not have switches either, man. These cats know how to run a 47 better than anybody. Uh, they are showing guns in the courtyard, and they have motorcycles in the courtyard as well. All stairwells are filled, the caller said. And according to the reports, the officers were unable to apprehend any subjects marching, matching. <laughs> You'll know, let me tell you something. Chicago residents post warning to Venezuelans taking over Chicago. This ain't Colorado. This is just like where, where you're from. The only difference is we got switches. That's pretty cool. Uh, and he says, yeah, somebody translate. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you. This is going to, this will be a war. These, these guys are going to mess with the wrong folk and that's it. Go down south to Florida and your ass going to get thrown in the swamps and eaten by the swamp gators. Or if you go to Louisiana, you're going to be eaten, fed to the pigs. Colorado's police and the said the apartments have not been taken over. There's a gang called the Trend de Aragua. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Colorado Governor Jared Polis to dismiss the news said it was imagination. That's what I'm getting at, man. Oh, I guess the people who were migrating across the border pleasantly was imagination as well. Guys, we're going to be speaking Spanish here before too long. Boys are going to be 
brought up. They're going to be uh, running into the people. They're going to be running into the wrong person, the person who totes a gun, because we we have this thing called the Second Amendment. We carry guns where we go. And if you don't carry a gun, guess what? You better because you are going to be a victim of your so-called liberal movement of allowing an open border. Oh, the border is secure. No, it's not. This is not an immigration thing. This is a border security thing. <laughs> Why are we putting up with the Venezuelan illegals taking over apartment complex? Why is this still an issue? Where's the National Guard? Pro-Trump activist Charlie Kirk posted on X. Elon Musk, too, shared a post on Chicago, said, first, they did this in Aurora, Colorado, and now Chicago. Time to move to the country. Y'all let me know what your thoughts are down below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. It's freedom comes in a hand cannon that's got a switch. I love that. Y'all be good. I'm out of here. Boom.